Hey, I wanted to tell you a little bit about my wife and I's story in ministry, something you may or may not know about us, but right out of seminary, we went to college ministry in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And while we were there, we met a wonderful fellow named Put. He was a Cambodian refugee who was studying there at the university. And not only did he earn his degree, but he came to know Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior, which was just so exciting to see him come to life. One of the things that we used to teach our students was to, to take addresses of the Bible that you might know and look to see where else in the Bible it has to say something about that. For example, John 3.16 talks about how great God's love for us that he gave us his son. But did you know Malachi 3.16 talks about tithing? And Colossians 3.16 is another one of those important verses. Well, Poot wrote me a message the other day and he said, Mike, I was, I was looking at this whole COVID-19 virus thing and what you taught us about looking into verses came to life. So I looked up all of the one nines from 19, one nines in the Bible, and I came across 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9. I just want to read that for you right now because it spoke to him about where we are and it may speak to you as well. Listen to what 2 Corinthians 1, 9 says. Indeed, we felt we had received the sentence of death, but this happened that we might not only rely on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. What an appropriate verse for where we are now. We can allow the fear of all of this to shake our faith, or we can use it to speak to our faith. So I wanna encourage you right now, read 2 Corinthians 1, 9, all of 2 Corinthians 1, as a matter of fact, can really bring a lot of comfort and a lot of focus to this time. God bless, I hope you have a wonderful week.